pleasure. We want to do the wrong thing. So we have to be on guard about these things. We need to be careful that we maintain our faith in Jesus on the cross and that we uh, maintain our living by the Bible. And uh, if we are careful about this, then we will be okay. Hi again. And uh, God will be happy with us. And not only that, uh, God will give us many great Mary, stay over here. experiences of Himself. Because God is a good spirit. God is a good spirit. And He wants fellowship with us. He wants us to be uh, friends with Him in the Spirit. God is so uh, real. Once you put your faith in Jesus on the cross, and once you live by the Bible, God will make Himself real to you. You will be able to understand the Bible. You will be able to have vision of Mary, God. stay over here. You will be able to have vision of angels. You will be able to maybe even go to heaven before you die. God has m m many wonderful miracles to do in our life and in everybody's life. God is so great and perfect. We should live our lives for Him, for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, through our faith in Jesus on the cross. And we must beware of backsliding. We must beware of not believing in God, of atheism. We must beware of believing in weird religion. We must reject world religion. We must only put our faith in Jesus on the cross. We must only put our faith in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We must only put our faith in the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Because the times are coming and they are already upon us that those who truly believe in the Bible will be outlawed and the only people allowed to go to church will be pagans that people do not believe in the Bible they are okay with the law of the man of this world the Christians that truly believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit will be persecuted in this country by Muslims and by the government. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Christians will not be free to come to our square and preach the gospel. It's only a matter of time when every one of us will die and we will have to meet our Maker. It's Mary. only a matter of time. Mary, stay over here. When the pagans and the Muslims take control over this country and the atheists it's only a matter of time that the church of Jesus who truly believe will be put to jail and go to prison because they believe in the Bible it's only a matter of time. The Antichrist will rise. 
as a global dictator, like in a Hitler, and we will be put into concentration camps if we believe in Jesus Christ. It might sound absurd now, but it happened before. How what? It can happen again. What? Good job. Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> Seventeen hundred years ago, <laughs> when they had the gladiators in ancient Rome, in the Colosseum, they took the Christians and they brought them to the Colosseum, and they had the lions. Eat them alive! Mary. It's only a matter of time. Such persecutions will come upon Christians that truly believe Jesus is the only way, truth, and life. That Jesus is the only way to escape hell, fire, and brimstone. Persecution of every true missionary of Jesus Christ. Only a matter of time, my friend. The time is short. The hour is late. We need to get right with God right now. Narrow gate. It's a narrow way. But Jesus has shown us the way in the Bible. He has shown us the way to live. He has shown us the way to live our lives. Only a matter of time that Bibles will be burned in this country. That people will not be able to have faith in Jesus, or they will be. The cops will come after them. Mary? Mary? They will accept for their faith in Jesus. My dad, my mommy! Now is the day. Now is the time to remember the words of God. No. The time will come. When every hypocrite Christian shall rise, every pagan, every atheist, every unbeliever shall rise. Mary, they're over and here. And come together, and they will control the government, and they will control the police. Only a matter of time. When the grace of God shall be lifted off of his country and Christianity, true Christianity, will be a cry. <laughs> Come to God now. Get baptized in water. Give your life to Jesus. And he will save you, and you will not burn in hell forever. Atheists think they have it all together. But show me an atheist who doesn't have a lot of money. Show me a homeless atheist. Atheists don't believe in God because they have money. They don't need God. They think they got money. What need is there for a God when you have money? But when you've been broke, when you can't pay your bills, 
then it starts to come around. There must be God somewhere in this world Nasty. to carry no. me through these hard times. Don't pick those up, okay? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is waiting for us to repent of our sin, get a Bible, and live by the Bible. He's waiting right now for us to repent and get right. He loves us. He loves you. I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God. Amen.